Good morning, it is Jane with Scrapdastic Yarns, and today's Bible reading comes from Isaiah 13 through 17. As always, let's open up with a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you giving you all honor, glory, and praise. Lord, we praise you for the simple beauty of life that you give us. Lord, we praise you for the beauty that we see each and every day we step outside of our homes and even inside our homes, Lord. The simple beauty of a loved one, the simple beauty of the children that grace our presence, Lord. We know that they are there to bless us and to bless you, Lord. We ask, Lord, that you keep them safe. We ask, Lord, that you Teach us the ways to bring them up so that they will honor you and glorify your name. We ask these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. <clears throat> the Judgment of Babylon Now the oracle concerning Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos saw, on a bare hill, raise a signal. Cry aloud to them. Wave the hand for them to enter the gate of the nobles. I myself have commanded my consecrated ones and have summoned my mighty men to execute my anger, my proudly exulting ones. The sound of the tumult is on the mountains as of a great multitude, the sound of the uproar of kingdoms, of nations gathering together. The Lord of hosts is mustering a host for battle. They come from a distant land from the end of the heavens. The Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. Wail for the day of the Lord is near. As destruction from the Almighty it will come. Therefore all hands will be feeble. Every human heart will melt. They will be dismayed. Pangs and anguish. And agony will seize them. Anguony? Agony will seize them. They will be in anguish like a woman in labor. They will look aghast at one another. Their faces will be aflame. Behold, the day of the Lord comes, cruel with wrath and fierce anger, to make the land a desolation and to destroy its sinners from it. For the stars of the heavens and their constell constellations will not give their light. The sun will be dark at its rising, and the moon will, shun, will not shed its light. I will punish the world for its evil, and the wicked for their iniquity. I will put, to end, put an end to the pomp of the arrogant, and lay low the pompous pride of the ruthless. I will make people more rare than fine gold, and mankind than the gold of a fear. Therefore I will make the heavens tremble, and the earth will be shaken out of its place at the wrath of the Lord of hosts in the day of his fierce anger. And like a hunted gazelle, or like sheep with none to gather them, each will turn to his own people, and each will flee to his own land. Whoever is found will be thrust through, and whoever is caught will fall by the sword. Their infants will be dashed in pieces before their eyes. Their houses will be plundered and their wives ravished. Behold, I am stirring up the Medes against them, for they have no regard for silver and do not delight in gold. Their bow bows will slaughter the young men, for they will have no mercy on the fruit of the womb, and their eyes will not pity children. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the splendor and the pomp of the Chaldeans shall be like Sodom and Gomorrah when God overthrew them. It will never be inhabited or lived in for all generations. No Arab will, pinch his, will pitch his tent there. No shepherds will make their flocks lie down there. But wild animals will lie down there and their houses will be full of howling creatures. Their ostriches will dwell, and their wild goats will dance. Hyenas will cry in its towers, and jackals in the pleasant palaces. Its time is close at hand, and its days will not be prolonged. 
the restoration of Jacob. For the Lord will have compassion on Jacob and will again choose Israel and will set them in their own land and sojourners will join them and will attach themselves to the house of Jacob and the people will take them and bring them to their place and the house of Israel will possess them in the Lord's land as male and female slaves. They will take captive those who were their captive, captors and rule over those who oppressed them. Israel's remnant taunts Babylon. When the Lord has given you rest from your pain and turmoil and the hard service with which you were made to serve, you will take up this taunt against the king of Babylon. How the oppressed has ceased, the insolent fury ceased. The Lord has broken the staff of the wicked, the scepter of rulers that struck the peoples in wrath with unceasing blows, unceasing blows. Sorry, They ruled the nations in anger with unrelenting persecution. The whole earth is at rest and quiet. They break forth into singing. The cypresses rejoice at you, the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since you are laid low, no woodcutter comes up against us. Sheol beneath is stirred up to meet you when you come. It rouses the shades to greet you, all who are leaders on the earth. It raises from their thrones all who are kings of the nations. All of them will answer and say to you, You too have become as weak as we. You have become like us. Your pomp is brought down to Sheol, the sound of your harps. Maggots are laid as a bed beneath you, and worms are your covers. How you are fallen from heaven, O day star, son of dawn. How you are cut down to the ground, you who laid the nations low. You said in your heart, I will ascend to heaven above the stars of God. I will set my throne on high. I will sit on the mount of assembly in the far reaches of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will make myself like the most high. But you are brought down to Sheol, to the far reaches of the pit. Those who see you will stare at you and ponder over you. Is this the man who made the earth tremble, who shook kingdoms, who made the world like a desert and overthrew its cities, who did not let his prisoners go home? All the kings of the nations lie in glory, each in his own tomb, but you are cast out, away from your grave, like a loathed branch clothed with the slain, those pierced by the sword who go down to the stones of the pit like a dead body trampled underfoot. You will not be joined with them in burial because you have destroyed your land. You have slain your people. May the offspring of the evildoers nevermore be named. Prepare slaughter for his sons because of the guilt of their fathers, lest they rise and possess the earth and fill the face of the world with cities. I will rise up against them, declares the Lord of hosts and will cut off from Babylon name and remnant, descendants and posterity, declares the Lord, and I will make it a possession of the hedgehog and pools of water, and I will sweep it with the broom of destruction, declares the Lord of hosts. An Oracle Concerning Assyria The Lord of hosts has sworn, As I have planned, so shall it be, as I have perfect, purposed, so shall it stand, that I will break the Assyrian in my land, and on my mountains trample him underfoot, and his yoke shall depart from them, and his burden from their shoulder. This is the purpose that is purpose concerning the whole earth. And this is the hand that is stretched out over all the nations, for the Lord of hosts has purposed, and who will annul it? His hand is stretched out, and who will turn it back? An oracle concerning Philistia. In the year that King Ahaz died came this oracle. Rejoice not, O Philistia, all of you, that the rod that struck you is broken. For from the serpent's root will come forth an adder, and its fruit will be a flying fiery serpent. And the firstborn of the poor will graze, and the needy lie down in safety. But I will kill your root with famine, 
and your remnant it will be slay. Wail, O gate, cry out, O city, melt in fear, O Philistia, all of you. For smoke comes out of the north, and there is no straggler in its ranks. What will one answer to the messengers of the nation? The Lord has founded Zion, and in her the afflicted of his people find refuge. An oracle concerning Moab. An oracle concerning Moab. Because of our of Moab is laid waste in a night, Moab is undone. Because Kir of Moab is laid waste in a night, Moab is undone. He has gone up to the temple and to Dibon, and to the high places to weep over Nebo and over Mediba. Moab wails. On every head is baldness, every beard is shorn. In the streets they wear sackcloth. On the housetops and in the squares, Everyone wails and melts in tears. Heshbon and Elilah cry out. Their voice is heard as far as Jahaz. Therefore the armed men of Moab cry out. His soul trembles. My heart cries out for Moab. Her fugitives flee to Zoar, to Eglah, Shelishiah. For all the ascent of Luhith, they go up weeping, on the road to Horonayim. They raise a cry of destruction. The waters of Nimri rim are a desolation. The grass is withered, the vegetation fails, the greenery is no more. Therefore the abundance they have gained and what they have laid up, they carry away. Over the brook of the willows. For a cry has gone around the lake of Moab, her wailing reaches to Eglon. Her wailing reaches to bear Elim. For the waters of Dibon are full of blood, for I will bring upon Diblon, Dibon, even more. A lion for those of Moab who escape, for the remnant of the land. Send the lamb to the ruler of the land from Shelah, from the, by the way of the desert to the mount of the daughter of Sion. Like fleeing birds, like scattered nests, so are the daughters of Moab at the forts of the Arnon. Give counsel, grant justice, make your shade like night. At the height of the moon, shelter the outcast. Do not reveal the fugitive. Let the outcast of the Moab sojourn among you. Be a shelter them to them from the destroyer. When the oppressor is no more and destruction has ceased, and he who tramples underfoot has vanished from the land, then a throne will be established in steadfast love, and on it will sit in faithfulness in the tent of David, one who judges and seeks justice and is swift to do righteousness. We have heard of the pride of Moab, how proud he is, of his arrogance, his pride, and his insolence. In his idle boasting, he is not right. Now, therefore, let Moab wail for Moab. Let everyone wail. Mourn, utterly stricken for the raisin cakes of Kir Hereseth. For the fields of the Heshbon languish, and the vin of Sibma. The lords of the nations have struck down its branches, who reached to Jazir and strayed to the desert. Its shoots spread abroad and passed over the sea. Therefore I weep with the weeping of Jazir. For the vine of Sibma. I drench you with my tears, O Heshbon and Elialeh. For over your summer fruit and your harvest, the shout has ceased. And joy and gladness are taken away from the fruitful field. And in the vineyards, no songs are sung, no cheers are raised. No treaders treads out wine in the presses. I have put an end to the shouting. Therefore my inner parts moan like a lyre for Moab, and my inmost self for care, Hereseth. And when Moab presents himself, when he wearies himself on the high place, when he comes to his sanctuary to pray, he will not prevail. This is the word that the Lord spoke concerning Moab in the past. But now the Lord has spoken, saying, In three years, like the years of a hired worker, 
the glory of Moab will be brought into contempt in spite of all his great multitude, and those who remain will be very few and feeble. An oracle concerning Damascus. Behold, Damascus will cease to be a city and will become a heap of ruins. Cities of Arar are deserted, for they will be for flocks which will lie down, and none will make them afraid. The fortress will disappear from Ephraim, and the kingdom from Damascus, and the remnant of Syria will be like the glory of the children of Israel, declares the Lord of hosts. And in that day the glory of Jacob will be brought low, and the fat of his flesh will grow lean. And it shall be as when the reaper gathers stranding grain, and his arm harvests the ears, and as when one gleans the ears of grain in the valley of Raphim. Gleanings will be left in it, and when an olive tree is beaten, two or three berries in the top of the highest bough, four or five on the branches of a fruit tree, declares Lord God of Israel. In that day man will look to his maker, and his eyes will look on the Holy One of Israel. He will not look to the altars, the work of his hands, and he will not look on what his own fingers have made, either at the Asherim or the altars of incense. In that day their strong cities will be like the deserted places of the wooded heights and the hilltops, which they deserted because of the children of Israel, and there will be desolation. For you have forgotten the God of your salvation, and have not remembered the rock of your refuge. Therefore, though you plant pleasant plants, and sow the vine branch of a stranger, though you make them grow on the day that you plant them, and make them blossom in the morning that you sow, yet the harvest will flee away in the day of grief and incurable pain. Ah, the thunder of many peoples, they thunder like the thundering of the sea, and the roar of the nations, they roar like the roaring of naughty waters. The nations roar like roaring of the many waters, but he will rebuke them, and they will flee far away, chased like chaff on the mountains, before the wind, and whirling dust before the storm. At evening time, behold, terror, before morning they are no more. This is the portion of those who loot us, and the lot of those who plunder us. And that is it for today's Bible reading. As always, get out there and be a blessing to someone. See this great big world we live in, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.